Okay, let's see if we can add the voice VLAN and some voice over IP phones to this VLANs and trunks exercise. We've talked about default VLANs, native VLANs, data VLANs, management VLANs. Let's see if we can do a little bit of uh, voice VLAN. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to drag it down a little bit. And then we need to pick a router. So we're going to grab a router. I'll just say I'll grab this 2811 router right here. I'll put it right up here. And this 2811 router has uh, two Ethernet ports, and that should be fine. Okay, and what we're going to do is we will hook up router to switch is a straight through cable. So we'll hook that to fast Ethernet 00, and we'll put this one to port FA02, right? And we're going to need to set a trunk for the router to the switch here, right? And then what we're also going to need is end devices. We're going to need a voice over IP phone. There it is, IP phone. So we'll take that out and we'll put that here, right? Now we're going to put this IP phone, let's say, we'll get a straight through cable and we'll put that into the uh, switch port and then that'll go to the PC and we got to pick a port right so we've used 5 we've used 10 let's say that we we're gonna use 20 alright so we we'll use port 20 for this phone right now the voice VLAN is typically uh, configured on VLAN 150 so I'm gonna set this port up FA020 for this phone let's say on VLAN 150 so let's put a little identifier for that so we'll set up VLAN 150 for voice right VLAN 150 for voice and this phone um, if we click on it, it's a lot different than the other um, routers and switches. Uh, to use it, what we're going to do is we're going to have to plug it in right here, and it's going to need to pick up an IP address, and it's going to need to pick up an IP address from a DHCP server. And so what we'll do is we'll use our router to function as the DHCP server, and we're going to configure all of this. Okay, so here goes. First things first, we'll go into the switch right here and enable right comp T and let's create our VLAN for voice VLAN 150 name voice alright done now port 20 control C comp T interface FA 0 slash 20 okay uh, tab switch port mode access switch port access VLAN switch port access VLAN 150 okay so now We've created VLAN 150 on the switch, right? And we've set port 20. If you if I hover over it, you can see port 20 is set to VLAN 150. Okay? Alright. Now we're going to need to also add VLAN 150 to um, this trunk port, and we're going to need to create a trunk port on FA02, a trunk that goes to the router. So let's create that trunk. So we'll do that right now. So we'll say conf t, right? Interface F FA0 slash 2. This is the port from the switch that's going to the router, right? And we'll say SW switch port mode trunk, okay? switch port uh, switch port trunk allowed 
VLAN 1 through 99 comma also 150. We'll see if that works. All right. And then we'll do a SW no, we'll do switch port trunk native VLAN 80 because that was our native uh, VLAN. Okay? So now we've got that trunk port going to the router setup. Okay. Okay, so we've set up this port on the switch to be a trunk and now we have to configure the router and what we're going to need to do is, is this router, right, is going to need to be the gateway for the VLAN 1, for VLAN 50, for, let's say, uh, VLAN 99, for VLAN 150, right? So it needs to have, essentially, on this Ethernet interface, 00, right? It needs to be, it needs to be 192.168. Dot one dot one for VLAN one for for this PC who's one dot one hundred this router needs to be the gateway at one dot one also it needs to be dot fifty dot one for this PC right here who's fifty dot one oh one its gateway is going to be fifty dot one and this router is going to be it so he needs to be also be fifty dot one and I'm just going to copy that he also needs to be, let's say, 80.1 for the native VLAN. All right? And needs to be 99.1. And needs to be 150.1, right? So how is this one Ethernet interface right here, FA00 on this router, going to be all of these roles, all of these IP addresses? Well, the answer is pretty easy, and it is sub-interfaces. So FA00 is now going to have sub-interfaces and have multiple IP addresses on this one interface. And so this trunk will trunk all those traffic, all that traffic, from all these PCs to the gateway here at the, these addresses. So to do that, it's pretty easy. We just go into the router, command line interface. We'll say no, enable. Conf T interface FA0 slash zero, and we're going to set up our first sub interface for the VLAN one. So we'll say dot one. So this is sub interface dot one, and then we'll say notice the it says config sub interface command right. So we're in sub interface configuration mode right here. So IP address 192.168 um, dot 1.1 1 .1. right okay all right and it tells us right off the bat right that if we want to do this we miss something here wait a minute this is only allowed if that sub interface is already configured as part of 802.1.10 or 802.1q so Huh, all right, well that means we probably need to do this command first. Encapsulation, right? Encapsulation dot, right? One Q, question mark, and then the VLAN ID number. And so the VLAN is VLAN one, so we'll just put a one, and there's the command that you want. Encapsulation dot one Q, space one for VLAN one, and now, what we can do is now we can put in our IP address and we're all good, right? Now that we've done that, we're going to say interface FA zero slash zero dot fifty, sub interface fifty for the fifty VLAN, right? And then we'll say encapsulation dot one Q. 50 for the 50 VLAN, right? And hit enter, and that's going to be for 50.1, right? Sub interface 50, encapsulation.1q, 802.1q, VLAN trunking protocol, 
VLAN 50, here's the IP address in the subnet mask. Boom. Now, then we'll say 80, encapsulation.1q 80, then IP address 80.1. Ninety nine capsulation dot one Q ninety nine VLAN ninety nine IP address ninety nine dot one then interface subinterface dot one fifty encapsulation dot one Q one fifty for voice VLAN one fifty and then IP address 150.1. Okay. All right, that looks good. We'll say end, show run. And you can see all of the sub interfaces 00.1, right? Dot 99 and dot 150. So now this router's interface is all of those things, right? Now it's still showing as shut down. So I see it as up here. Let's go back in and do interface F A zero slash zero no shut for no shutdown right notice how all of those sub interfaces just changed to up and now we're getting green lights here so now these are up now if this is the case then and this is working this trunk is working this PC should be able to ping its gateway so I'll open up the PC and I'll go to desktop, IP configuration. Now I can give myself a, a gateway because now there's a router. Right? That looks good. Then open a command prompt, ping 192.168.50.1, and I'm getting a reply. I'm reaching the router. So that ping just went from from this PC right here to the router and back over this trunk port. So we have communications here now. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our IP phone and take this IP phone, okay, config IP phone 0, display name IP phone 0, okay. What we're going to do is to power on the phone you've got to grab in this view, physical view, you grab the power adapter and drag it to here. Okay, I just did. I dragged this, dragged it. Now it's plugged in. Now the phone is on. And I'll say IP phone, let's say 1. All right, that looks good. All right, and there's the GUI where we can see our IP phone which we'll be using in a minute, right? Now, this phone needs to get an IP address, right, so that we can reach it. And the IP address needs to be given to it dynamically from the router. So that's what we're going to set up next.